Hello everybody and welcome back to Shut Up and Cook with Chef John. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an Espanol sauce, better known as brown sauce. Now this sauce is a sauce you can find in restaurants and some of your favorite foods like steaks, some chicken and all points in between. Uh, I'm going to show you, break it down to you step by step so you can make it at home. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, here we go. First, we're going to start with a half a cup of butter. And we're going to get that melted down. After it's melted down, we're going to add a half a cup of flour. Okay, our butter is almost melted. Half a cup of butter. Two half a cup of flour. Now, again, this is what's called a roux, and when you're making a roux of any kind, it's always the same amount of butter to the same amount of flour, no matter what you do. In this case, you've got a half a cup of flour, half a cup of butter, stirring up here. And for brown sauce, we want to make the roux a little dark, stirring it around, but not letting it burn. So you want to keep your pan on medium high heat, but it's easier when you're stirring it and you want it to get browner. You can see if it's getting too hot, you can always take it off the burner just a little bit, stir it around, and bring it back. So for brown sauce, we're going to make this a little darker. If we were doing a white sauce, we would leave the roux uh, a light lighter. Color. Okay, here we are. This is about the consistency you want. It kind of looks like a, a peanut butter consistency, and, that, and that's what you want, a soft peanut butter, and it even looks like peanut, but, peanut butter. And you can also smell it. Uh, it, it smells like uh, a roasted uh, peanut or something, peanuts. And that's what's kind of what you want. What it's doing is the flour is cooking onto there. So you get that flour taste out. And so we're going to set this to the side. That is again, the, what we want. And we are going to start sauteing our vegetables. Okay. So we're ready to saute. We have our um, stove on medium high. Okay. And you want to make sure your pan is hot. Okay. I can't stress that enough. Uh, we're going to go in with the olive oil in the bottom of the pan and when you do this we're going to start out with a quarter cup of carrots okay quarter cup of onions quarter cup of celery and you want a quarter cup of garlic. There we go. Now you might be saying, you might be saying, can't you just throw it all on the same pot? Well, you can, and I've seen it done before. But the reason you want to saute your vegetable or any vegetable is what you're doing is. You're sauteing the onions and, and the vegetables to its, you're going to saute it so it releases its flavor. And that's what you want to do when, you, when you're adding it to anything you do. That's why when you see people making soups or clam chowder, that they always give that vegetable a saute for it first so they can unlock its flavor. So that's why we do that. And we're just let the saute until almost transparent. Turn it around there until it's ready for its next ingredient. Okay, we've been doing this for about three or four minutes now. So now I'm gonna add some fresh thyme. I've got about uh, three to four sprigs here of thyme. Rosemary, when you're adding rosemary, it's really strong, remember that. So I got like a half a sprig here of rosemary and I'm gonna saute it in with uh, the vegetables that have been going for about four minutes now. Stir, let it do its thing, and that again is gonna uh, release this unbelievable flavor when you add your stock into here. It's just gonna be amazing, and uh, you'll, like I said, you'll be able to use this sauce for many different things. Okay.
Okay, so we got that all combined. It's looking nice. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of red wine. And one tablespoon of tomato paste. We're gonna stir it around. And you want the wine to to dissolve to about half. And you can see how it's looking here. You got a nice, nice color, nice uh, red brown brown color going on there. Looking very nice. You can see our wine is reducing to about half. And now we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna add this to our our roux and we're gonna add our stock to it okay so we got our roux look how nice that browned up when we set it to the side too okay so now we're gonna add our vegetables in there nice and then give this a quick stir nice and we're gonna add our four cups of beef stock. Now, beef stock, there, you can use any beef stock you want. You can use the bouillon, uh, the paste. Uh, it's up to you, uh, you know, if you're using uh, bouillon, go with like two cubes of that. The paste is a little stronger, so you want to add a little bit at a time to four cups and taste it. So you make sure you don't make it too salty but you want a good, nice, uh, even flavor in the stock. Because again, it's gonna combine with everything else. All right, so now, got everything in, we're stirring. Now, when you're doing this, uh, working with a roux, uh, you wanna use a spatula and a whip, and I'll tell you why. The whip's gonna mix everything, right? But it won't get the, uh, the flour that's at the bottom. So you do wanna use uh, a spatula and occasionally hitting the bottom make sure you're getting that bottom so it's all combined with your sauce so I use both and uh, if you ever made a gravy before um, sometimes you know when you pour it out you'll see there's that you know that those lumps at the bottom or something this is gonna solve that so we're gonna do this until it reduces and thickens Okay, we're letting this go about 10 minutes. It's reduced very nicely. So from here, we're gonna add one half a teaspoon of sea salt. And quarter teaspoon of cracked pepper. We put it on low for about another minute or two and then we're gonna strain it. And you will have yourself a nice brown sauce or a spaniel sauce. Now, if you were doing like a gravy, you would do the roux just how I was doing it. Uh, with one half cup of butter, one half of, of flour, and two, four cups of beef base. So you would just do the roux how, you, how I did it today, uh, browning the roux and adding your uh, beef stock and then from there a little salt a little pepper stir it around stirring like I had the spatula and there is a basic gravy for you your basic gravy run in the middle gravy so this sauce we're doing today is what you like I said it's what you see in restaurants if uh, you know you wanted to put it over steak some people put it over chicken they'll use chicken stock instead of uh, beef beef stock that works too you know you can you'll learn to to use this for a lot of different things and as you see as my programs go on I'll be incorporating this into my show so you'll know what I'm doing now we're gonna strain it okay we are ready to strain Here we go holding our pan up And slowly, careful. 
like so. Pot and sink. Take a mess up. Whisking it through your strainer. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. Careful not to make a mess. Here. And we're ready to taste. And there we go. A nice Espanol sauce for you. No doubt about it. This is what you want. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again on our next episode. Remember, have fun and keep cooking.